Hey guys, what's going on? So we're back here with another free box design. And this one is a lot bigger than the last one. But this will fit cars, SUVs, trucks. Obviously not under the seat or anything, but these will fit in a lot of applications. So this one is made for a FIBTL 15. It will fit a MS Juggernaut. You could also make this with 10s, 12s, 8s, 6.5s, depending on what you're looking to do. You would just not cut a 15-inch hole. Now, if you watch any of my other videos, you know I'm going to measure from the outside diameter, not the inside diameters, and I will let you know all the specs. And this box is tuned 30 to 32 hertz. And like I've mentioned before, if you watch any videos, depending on what program or application you use to tune a box, it's going to say something different 90% of the time, even if you use the same specs, the same material, and the same speaker. It's crazy. There's formulas and everything, and some apps work better than others. WinISD is great. Box calculator for an uh, Android iPhone, great. Pay for Pro version. Uh... Basebox Pro, awesome. Costs a lot of money, awesome software. Just heads up. But there's other free ones. Fosgate Re-Audio Kicker, um, it, uh, Explicit Audio, I think. But let's get started. So we're gonna stop, this is the top, this is the bottom, front, back, port. To get the port on the left, so you're looking at it right now, it is on the right. To get it on the left, this becomes the top, this becomes the bottom. You just flip it. All right, starting with the top. 38 wide, 22 deep, 18 tall. This is gonna be five and a quarter wide on the port from open to open. So. If I include the three quarter inch, six inches. So six inches from outside to inside, or five and a quarter inside. This one is going to be. I can't see that. 17 and a quarter. A little bit less than a quarter, actually. Um, so that is from the back of the port wall to the front face. So the actual port wall size is 16 and a half. So it's 16 and a half that, for that piece, uh, 15 five tall. 15 inch hole, if you're gonna cut it, you need to find out the cutout, divide it by two, put a screw, and then you can, um, here, I'll show you. Hold on. People get confused on this if you cut it. So, this is what you use, piece of wood. Drill a hole, measure from that hole to another hole, put a screw in one hole, and put a drill bit in the other. Put the drill bit in the middle of the box and spin it. It will give you the perfect cutout every time. Use a jigsaw or a router to cut it. I just use a jigsaw. So, obviously guys, this box is made for a 15, 30, to, uh, 30 to 32 hertz, it could go up to 33, 34, obviously depending on displacement of the subwoofer, displacement of the 45, and bracing. Now this box is made to have a second baffle on the outside, so it's gonna cover up all these um, joints. So what you do is you just lay it on a piece of wood, trace the outside, um, and then you'll trace your holes and everything and cut it. Pretty much just make a template. Reason I didn't make just two of these is because the port would not have that extra area. I could have done it on the inside, but that took away from the volume on the inside. So use your calculator, find out what the cubic foot of this box is and if it's good for the application that you need. Um, on top of my head, uh, I don't remember what the cubic foot of this one is on top of my head right now. And I don't see my paper. 
Where is my paper here? If I, I can't remember. It's either 4.6 or 5.6. Oh, well. You get the drift. When you put these calculations into a box calculator, it will definitely give you everything you need to know. I, uh, I want to say 4.6. Oh, I have so many box designs. So, one of them, no, that one's 4.6. This one's 5.6, I believe. This one should be 5.6 cubes before displacement of 45s and everything. After displacement, you're going to have less internal volume. That's what will change your tuning. So, you could do 410s, 312s. 212s, 8, 68s. Really, you can do anything you want if you're going to brace it enough. And it's got enough airspace for almost any box design that you can think of. So just keep that in mind. But this is another free box design, guys. It's super simple to make. Uh, sounds really well. Uh, this one's been tested. I will be posting a video on it. So just keep, um, keep me uh, updated in the comment section of what you want to see next, what size. Now, I will not be doing behind the seat, under the seat boxes, stuff like that, fiberglass boxes. It's just way too much stuff for me to videotape right now. Uh, I do have some that I'm working on. Um, that's why I have all this extra MDF and uh, pine laying around. I think all, yeah, all y'all can see is MDF right now. But I do have a behind the seat uh, for a single cab uh, Dodge Ram. But videoing and editing, that's going to take a while, so it's going to be quite a while to work. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe for more.